the sobriety tag may have become somewhat of a fashion accessory for the Hollywood star Lindsay Lohan after she broke her probation a few years ago. But they're going to be trialled here in an attempt to stop those who've repeatedly committed alcohol-related offences from drinking. The tag works by measuring the amount of alcohol in sweat every half an hour, with the results sent electronically to a monitoring system. If the offender breaks the ban, they could find themselves back in court or in prison. The aim is to reduce alcohol-related crime, which remains a costly problem, estimated at between £8 and £13 billion every year. That places a heavy burden on public services, with two out of five A&E attendances due to drink-related injuries. And supporters argue it saves money, costing £1,800 over six months, compared to £22,000 for a stay in prison. In the United States, authorities argue it has a nearly 100% success rate, helping to reduce reoffending and domestic violence. For some, though, monitoring what people drink is a step too far, though that's denied by the company behind the tags. It's not a human right to abuse alcohol and to create uh, public disorder and therefore a uh, proportionate sentence uh, by being required to wear this is, is entirely fair and proportionate. This scheme would initially only apply to a handful of London boroughs and involve a few hundred criminals. But if a success in lowering crime is mirrored here, the tags are likely to be introduced nationwide. Barry McCaffrey, Sky News.